So, left hand ones you're before kind of thing, yeah. right hand ones you're after. Okay, set it wise, we said nothing we need to sort of worry about yeah. there, okay? Apart from, I think I wouldn't just bring this right foot back and open to try and hit a draw. Yeah. Just make sure your feet are kind of level. By bringing your right yeah. foot back, it just turns your hips more. Yeah, okay, great. Yeah. But if you don't cut through the golf ball more, it's going to be leaking out to the yeah. right even more. So, those are all batching. Very, very good. As you came through now, left elbow, you can sort of see now yeah. sort of this lifting and pulling, almost shrugging up with your left elbow, using a lot of energy and effort to try and yeah. hit the golf ball. Club face now at this point is going to be open. Last second, flip with the hand underneath. You'll see as well the glove now is still visible, so you kind of flicked underneath yeah. it, yeah, okay, yeah. rather than getting a sort of the correct folding of the wrist. So that's kind of your post-impact position there before. These are some of your practice swings, obviously, be a lot better. But in fairness to you, your real swing, when you actually did a few of these practice swings, you come with your left arm there, Sort of release him back nicely, and your left elbow just stays down. Glove hand now gone. Yeah. Okay. Folds up. Nice, comfortable swing. Okay. Now these are obviously quite slow practice swings, but in fairness, when you did step to the golf ball and you hit it, get in. Okay. Same good back swing. Okay. As you start coming back down now, hands are starting to drop. Left arm still maintains yeah. its position. Okay. Left arm still nicely sort of extended. Okay. Yeah. Hit the golf ball there now, releasing the club. Elbow stays in more. Hands disappeared, yeah. elbows, the gap here is that gap there, oh, sorry. that gap there between your elbow and your body is slightly less, yeah. okay, your elbow's down as you swing through and fold, okay, you can see how your arms are just, the elbow now yeah. is sort of a slight kind of that way where this now is kind of that way, so your yeah. elbow's kind of gone this way more rather than that way more yeah and it seems to you massively different mm -hmm. in reality it's about i know kind of yeah it's <laughs> that much different okay yeah. but that in reality when you think about the golf swing your club face is like five degrees open yeah you've only got to change it five degrees not 45 yeah, degrees yeah. or something stupid it's not like a massive change that needs to be made and as you said it felt a little bit smoother when you swing the golf yeah, club as you're coming yeah. through you're using a lot less effort and when you come through just a sort of telltale sign there sometimes how much further your club can now go because you've basically folded up better. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. now, okay, it's only gone, that's where it's gone to there, and then that was kind of where it got to there. So your club has now got to here as opposed to there. So it's gone round another 10, 15 degrees. Yeah. That doesn't really necessarily affect how far it goes, but it just shows the fact your left arm has folded yeah. up better. If your left arm does this, you just you can't get around anywhere at all. Yeah. So you'll get this sort of stuck feeling. And like I said, we're trying to swing the golf club more efficiently, mm -hmm. not hit it harder, yeah. and use compensation at the last second. Because the golf swing, as we said, is under my eye for you at least. And from there now, at the top of the back, so your club starts coming down at 6.63, you're hitting the golf ball at 6.86. So yeah quarter of a second what can yeah. you think about in that time yeah you try and time that 100 mile an hour a quarter of a second you know if you're driving a car 100 mile an hour and the, had to try and shift lanes at a quarter yeah, quite a good wrong one, yeah. Okay. so if we can just get your arms sort of used to sort of folding i say i think feeling wise now you seem to have the understanding of how your left arm's got to sort of yeah. fold up there and just release through so you're creating club head speed with the sort of momentum of the yeah, golf yeah. club not pulling your left elbow because if your left elbow pulls, the club now sort of slows down. Think of cricket, yeah. you pull your douche this way, the bat's yeah, going very slow. Mm -hmm. Okay? The, the example I always give is like, if I had a bit of cotton thread in my hand, I was just doing this with my hand, and there's a bit of weight on the end of that cotton thread, I could get that cotton thread whizzing around my hand like a sort of helicopter propeller yeah. blade. Just go, choo, choo, choo. My hand's doing this, barely move. If I did this in my hand, or yeah. try to go faster, the cotton thread would be all over the place. Yeah. Yeah. So the body's kind of working efficiently, and that thing's, choo, 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 and that's yeah. kind of your golf club. So your golf club's swinging around that circle. Yeah with the body working a little bit more under control. So from here, it's kind of store your back, you know, as your arms, and these forwards out here now, you swing into impact, the body sort of slows and the club flips through, mm. and you continue to swing on. What you had was kind of here, there, flick, and it was just yeah, under a mile an hour. It's, it's a lot going on. Yeah, and, and that's the thing, there's a lot of variables. When you're playing as you're playing, you play like once a week, but when you weren't playing maybe as much, you just sort of get back into it. It took you a few games to even find where the middle of the golf club was. Yeah. So to try and find the middle of the club, then the direction and all these kind of things, yeah. it's just a bit hit and miss and stuff. So as I said, you'll find it when a ball does start going straight, you can make pars, you can make birdies, yeah. you can make good scores because you hit the ball really well. Mm -hmm. But your bad shot was costing you a lost ball yeah. or a double or a triple something. Yes. So rather it's than shooting yeah. in like mid-teens, as I said, you potentially go. So I teach golfers who... 12 to 15, 16, 17 handicappers don't be any better than your good shot, yeah. but your bad shot will be worse than their bad shot. Yeah, okay. So that's the difference. And in some ways, then you look at like decent standards, say rugby players or football players, mm. 
when they have a bad game, it's still better than most people yeah, when they're really yeah, good. No, it was just like when Dan Carter has a bad game, he's still mm. better than most guys on the pitch. Yeah. So if we can improve your bad shot when you aren't playing, and there's some days, you know, when you play rugby, you just you weren't with it, it just wasn't there yeah, that day. Doesn't. You just did what you could, because you obviously played a good standard, you yeah. could sort of mask it, and it, people would say, oh, he's not he's in a pretty good game, you wouldn't notice it as much. But if your game was so so variable from good to bad, you would look horrendous in yeah. very badly. So it's just trying to reduce that variable of where it's going to yeah. be. But if you've got three or four compensations at under a mile an hour, yeah. good luck kind of thing, isn't it? Yeah, okay, exactly. so that kind yeah. of makes sense. So no, back to wide is good, yeah. setup's good. It's just understanding how that left arm, I would say, just make some left arm swings by yourself. Just some yeah. left arm movements there with just one hand. The more you can kind of do that, again, do it twice a day for a couple of minutes, put the kettle on home, so just yeah. stand over the club in the kitchen, or even just on a frame, or just something, hold that, and just, how yeah. does this left arm kind of work this way? Get that yeah. feeling, rather than sort of this pulling and then yeah. having the wrist, because that, that was kind of the position you were getting into. Well, there's a lot of movement going on there. Yeah. You to try and get that right. You put stress on the shoulder, your back, your neck, your elbow, and all sorts. So. Yeah. Hook it, okay? Yeah, that's no, good. good man.